According to Laos.fyi, there's been a reported 370,550 tech employees laid off since 2023. Here are my thoughts on this information. The technology industry, accordingly, is unstable. Veterans in the field who have lived through the dot-com bubble back in the late 90s, early 2000s probably already know this. However, the lack of stability in an industry that requires so much education, self-teaching or otherwise, can be a bit jarring for generations of young professionals. This is especially true for me. I came up in an era where the just learn a code bro meme was very popular. Accordingly, many in my generation and younger saw coding as a way out of the lower class. So many of us have made or are making a bet that those long hours of learning a novel technology will pay off. Now, I'm here to tell you that it can pay off. I've seen this for myself and for many others. However, the expectation that working in the tech industry is a stable option for someone trying to build a foundation of financial stability has to be altered. Especially when you consider the layoff data from the last couple of years. If you watched my video on the correlation between the federal interest rate and tech jobs, this is for the US market, you may likely conclude that the entire tech industry and it's not the only industry like this, is dictated by whether the head of the Federal Reserve makes it easy to print currency or not. That's right, actual market demand isn't driving the tech industry. It's access to cheap money that drives the industry. I find this particular point unsettling because it reveals that many aspects of the technology industry are effectively artificially propped up. And I, as an individual, can be employed not because there is actual demand for my work, skills, or labor, but because the company, many times a startup, has extra cash to burn. This dynamic doesn't seem stable if you ask me. I'd argue that most of us know this deep down in our intuition. Moreover, I'd guess that most of us know that we will not retire with the first company that hires us. There are just too many what ifs and too little stability for that to be the case. I believe that this requires us to take a look at our time in the tech industry instead of as a career, rather to look at it as a stepping stone for a greater goal. I always tell my students to build something for themselves that financially sustains them and their families while they're being employed. Otherwise, we're going to continue to depend on the graces of getting a check cut every two weeks in an industry that is increasingly, as time goes on, proving to be more and more unstable. I ask you guys, do you think that you can actually build a future around that? I believe that we can't. I believe we have to be smarter and take advantage of the times that we're employed, as I said before, to be able to produce something or build something for ourselves so that we have a safety boat or a safety net for ourselves and for our families and maybe if that safety boat or safety net gets strong enough, eventually it could be your main source of income. Yes, you yourself become the driver of the money that you make on a day-to-day -day basis and not a federal interest rate dictated by some guy in some office. But what do you think? Please comment below. If you want to support the channel and be among the first to join my private Discord hive mind of tech professionals, please sign up below to become a patron for only $5 a month. I'll send you a link to the private Discord and I can answer any and all questions that you may have. Thank you and I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.